Right, anyway, you can see I've just added this this bit here, and I'm now just bulking out the shoulders a little bit. So I'm not going to go too mad with the the details and the, and the actual the the chest yet because I think it will be better if I let that set and then do another pass on that, do another layer. So I just want to get the nice sort of shape. shape of the belly and just gently putting on the shoulder piece there and then this that's his spine there It is helpful to um, do some research about anatomy. I haven't really covered that. Um, I mean, with, when you're doing monsters and stuff, it's more forgiving. But when you're doing like a, you know, a human that's meant to be in proportion, it definitely helps to do some research and have some pictures in front of you. And that that also goes for you know when you're doing the face and things as well. can be quite tricky and the hands um, I mean they're also things that I can improve on it just you know like I say it takes practice so I'm gonna add a bit more not too much don't want to get carried away adding too much putty too early on I mean, you can always, if you f if you find it is um, it's bulked up too much and it looks too thick, you can always carve some away when it's set. Just starting to get the character of the piece now. Just want to get the shape of the chest in there. Putting a depression in the middle and, and sort of moving the, the chest so it's drooping down a little bit. So I've sort of designed the piece so he's got a so it looks like he's got a slit up the middle and um, it's being stitched. So I'm just sketching that out where that goes at the moment and giving it a nice so he's got a nice cavity for the guts.